everyone. Welcome Hi. back to the pastor's chat. Um, this one is going to be over Zoom today because we have with us, I got to remember how to point here, Jody Rennie is with us. Um, many of you uh, know who she is, and those of you that don't, jo Jody Rennie is a member here at Calvary. Um, also, she'll tell you this, she recently moved, which is really exciting, uh, but she was also the chair of our Building Expansion Committee, um, and we're really excited uh, to share with you uh, what's going on with our building project right now. So I actually want to pass it over to her. She can introduce herself a little bit more and then tell you about our vision here for um, Calvary when it comes to our building. And then we're going to get rolling with some exciting uh, things uh, today for you. Jody. All right. Thanks, Tim. Um, well, this all started a couple of years ago. Actually, back in 2011, there were a group of people hard at work trying to figure out how we would... Um, grow the church, what we could do with our land and all of those things. And, and anyone that um, heard me during the financial campaign heard me say that I was just blown away and amazed how this whole project went from a very man-driven, schedule-driven project to a completely God-driven project. Mm -hmm. And what really happened was when our strategic planning group met, and one of the statements that came out um, of the vision was that we needed to renovate our facilities to create a can't miss environment that people can't wait to, uh, don't wanna leave and can't wait to get back to. And I really think that that's what we're accomplishing um, with the help of our great architectural team. Um, so you repeat that one more building time. Committee. Can you repeat the vision one more time? It's just, it gets me so excited. I wanna hear it one more time. All right, to renovate our facilities to create a can't miss environment that people don't want to leave and they can't wait to get back to. Thanks. I just, uh, I can't wait to be in that. Go, keep going. Me neither. Me neither. So um, at any rate, so we are now working with this project and God is continuing to do so many interesting things that I just look at it and go, yeah, that was God. Cause there's no way that would have happened with our, our pushing. It's his pulling us, not our, our pushing um, him. So I thought what we might want to do for this chat is just start out with the animations that we showed during the June um, meeting when we approved this project, just to bring everybody back up to speed as to what this is going to look like when we are all done. Yeah, they're really, I'm excited. So let me uh, get this up on our screen and we'll start with uh, the, the, the first one, which will bring us in on the street. So let me get that okay. up on the screen. Great. Here. All right, so here's the video, and Jody, you're going to take us through this. So let me start it, and then you are going to, I think we're in a car right now, so here we go. Yep. We are coming down Main Street, at street and we're going past the building. You can see the uh, addition part is on our left. The yeah. new front piece with the glass cross. Oh, about what color will that be, Jody? Well, the cross is going to be glass, and the building is going to match the brick as closely oh. as possible to what we currently have. Very neat. And now we're going to enter the lobby. I love that there's that option on the left side there to have like the our, our church's brand or something like that. Okay. We'll so tell this would be your, your welcome desk. Um, there will also be a space for us to sign up for activities and those kinds of things that, that we might be involved in. And we're rapidly approaching the coffee bar. Let me know if you want me to pause at any points for people to look at stuff. Should I pause here? All right, yes, why don't you pause here? So one of the big changes you'll notice is off to our right is the stairway that's going to now be the main um, access to the lower level. So when people come in, they'll be able um, to go down that way instead of the little narrow stairway we had before on the other side of the sanctuary. Yeah, I think this is my family right here, right? Yes, I think it is. It's your family. Um, you can see, actually, right over there, um, we have the book, um, the mailboxes. Oh, yes. The, yep, the mailboxes are going to be here. Yep. Yeah, the mailboxes remain. Um, this is the, the main opening into um, the sanctuary. Yeah. Yep. And you can see how the roof line kind of replicates. Um, okay. As you look in, the architects have retained a lot of this, the same look for to make a much better flow. You'll also notice how big and tall the ceilings are. That's going to be so bright and airy, welcoming. It's going to give us the elbow room we need to meet and greet each other and to meet and greet newcomers or, or visitors to our church. Yeah. And I'm hoping that this space with its high top tables and um, couches and things will also be used besides um, Sundays. 
It'd yeah. be a great meeting place on Wednesdays. Yeah, I wanted to pull us back and just and show us again, like, yeah, see all these high, we're gonna have high tops, low tops, and then these high rise ceilings, these lights. I think it's important for everybody to know too, this, this isn't like the perfect re uh, uh, replica of what it's gonna look like, but we will have high tops, low tops, and different chairs, counter space and stuff like this. But um, but then this is, the cross will have the glass and, and all this lighting. I mean, it's gonna be such a, a natural lit environment and it's gonna feel very open. All right, let me get us back to where we were here. All right, here we go. All right. All right. So this is looking back, showing you a couple of the couches near the stairs. And this is where, you know, coffee service can take place. Ooh, yeah. So I think, yeah, this is where I'll spend my time in the mornings to get up. Oh, you know what? I love that they added, oh man, I thought that was a French press. I think that's just the sugar. I, I think you're being a little optimistic on that, but okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're headed down the hallway, kind of towards where our nursery was, but the big difference is the nursery is now going to be on the non-road side. It's going to have the separate entrances, uh, real improvement for security and safety standpoint. We even have a separate room for little kids to sleep. No, that's for little kids. Adults aren't welcome back there to take a nap. I've but tried sleeping in a crib before, it doesn't work. Doesn't work, okay. Um, so you see the, the area there for the little ones, yeah. lots of cabinetry, good open space for kids to play, and there is an enclosed bathroom. That's really neat. So what, those are the things, so you've been talking about some of the differences. I think what I heard was they have their own bathroom that's no, like, it's no longer, they're not walking into the women's bathroom. It's now that's their true. own bathroom. Um, we're going to have this themed little check-in area where um, like a parent is not walk, can't really get in the nursery. It's like you have to essentially get your, you pass your kid through this door. Um, anything else that they should, they, there are changes in here? Well, you'll also see, we are gonna have a window. We had a door before where you could peer in the nursery okay. and, and see how kids were doing. So it will be available for parents to, to check in on their children, um, but it, it's discreet. Yeah, really neat, cool, cool. And as you pointed out, the check-in is right there. Again, another safety feature. Now, could you pause for a second? Right here. Um, if we had gone down the hall a little further, um, on the roadside where the nursery was, will now be restrooms, but we also are going to have a multi-purpose room back there. Yes, which... yes, that's right. That's right. Um, let me see if I can, right when we walked out that door, it's kind of like right, oh, look, water fountains. It's right there, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so, and also tucked in around the corner is a, a small lactation um, room. So mothers that are nursing will have a small room that they can go to. Beyond that will be a, a room that can be used for a meeting room, a conference, perhaps brides getting ready, a family yeah. um, that needs a little bit of, of time preparing for a funeral service. So it'll be a nice, uh, comfortable living room kind of space for people to use. We're also are adding, in addition to obviously uh, men's and, and ladies' rooms, which are totally refurbished, um, an ADA accessible uh, bathroom, a family bathroom, uh, yeah. so that those that, that need that during uh, service or while they're on the in the church, that it's now going to be in the lobby instead of having to be on the other side where the classrooms are on the yeah. upper level. I'm excited. Those family bathrooms, when you're in like a big uh, like. Um, building like a Walmart or a Target. I love those family bathrooms because it's just so helpful to parents. That's really nice that we're going to have one of those. It's going to be great. And we have to consider it's not only for uh, parents with young children, but we have people right. that perhaps need a little additional space um, yeah. when they yeah. need to use a restroom. So we'll be able to open uh, to ensure that, that it's comfortable for everyone yeah. that needs to use the facilities. And a side side note, the back in that corner as well will be the coat racks. Um, so oh yes, we did. We retain coat racks as well. Yeah, and then so this is, uh, I think uh, the car, th this is a really neat feature. We keep mentioning it, but that because this is glass, when the sun hits it right, there sh it should make a shadow of the cross on the ground. So absolutely. So there you go. Just wanted to pause there, and then you could also sit under it. Isn't that neat? You could sit. You could sit at the feet of the cross. Absolutely. I think there'll be a lot of family pictures and wedding pictures that yes, take, yes, take absolutely. place in that spot. So you can see our architects put a whole lot of thought into opening this up to making it a comfortable space, to make it a very welcoming uh, location for, for people to come in and to enjoy the space. It's not just 
a Sunday, come in and get into the sanctuary. Yes, we're going to enjoy going into the sanctuary, yep. but it's going to, to allow us to prepare ourselves as we go in and then also to fellowship when we depart. Do we want to, I think we also wanted to see the lower level. I thought that was important, right? Absolutely. All right, let's do that. We got one more here. So I'm going to share a screen here and jump over to our lower level. All right, here we go. Ready? This is what we ended. So wave hello right here to our, uh, the guy welcoming us to go downstairs. Here we go. All right. So now we're going to come down this very nice, spacious staircase. Um, this light is, natural light is great. It's only an emergency exit. It's not going to be um, for anything else. And there's a skylight that will also has a lighting uh, component to it so that it will light the area in the, in the evenings as well. Yeah, the skylight you're talking about, I think we saw it when we were at the top, right? Yeah, so just skylight. very briefly, we saw it, yep. Okay, let me bring us back down here. Let's okay, so now we're, we're uh, going to head back down the stairs again. And we'll see that um, in, in this area, I believe they're going to have another uh, setup for registering your children for their activities in school. Mm -hmm. We're used to having these existing classrooms, but they're all going to be renovated and, and cleaned up. We're going to step into one briefly during this presentation. I don't know exactly what furniture we're going to have here. This is an artist representation. It may be much more open for the Calvary Kids model, but it still gives us the idea. It's a space for children for learning. Um, I, Jody, I think this might be a good time to mention that the, um, it, when we get down here in a second, we're heading back to that big classroom. And this is one of the ones that a big question is, are we going to be able to complete this, right? Right. Okay, so let's talk about that for a second. Why? Well, let's, let's look at it first and then we can talk about it. So this is the larger, this is the addition. It's under the nursery area and some of the restrooms. And it's designed to be a very open area. Um, as we saw when we came in, it will open up into the lawns. That's where the emergency exit goes. Um, and this is where Calvary Kids will do a lot of their big group uh, learning activities. Yeah. Now, currently, the finishing of this room is not in the budget. It will be, uh, the rough-ins will be there. We are hoping that we will be able to do something with this. There is, um, as every good project, we have some contingency money. We know that things are not gonna go according to plan. We're hoping that we'll have enough contingency money to do this, but if not, we're going to count on the members of Calvary to roll up their sleeves and come in and put up some drywall and do some painting and do some flooring. Uh, we didn't mention at the beginning, Tim, but the Fairmount building was done totally by our, our yep. volunteers. And the preschool is beautiful. I haven't been there in person, but the pictures are phenomenal. Should, we need a huge, huge shout out to Jenny Hughes first and that all that design and all the ideas. I mean, she was on Pinterest. She was looking at everything and she made that thing come to life. But then shout out to our church who just got on board, helped out. Also the staff, the, the preschool staff being there. There were so many hands that were involved um, and let's keep getting involved in this project. I, I, and as Jody, you were just saying like, we need us to, we need our hands to, in case it doesn't get done with the contingency money, uh, we're going to need to get involved in this. Or I would even say that as we're going through this right now, as we're giving funds, let's get excited. And then if the Lord wills it, we give more and uh, it, we get it done. So, all right, let's continue through this room. I, I certainly hope so. By the way, back to that real quickly, Rich uh, Hughes and Fred Papernick yes. were the driving force behind oh, the yeah. Fairmount building. So you'll see this is also going to have um, a small snack area and then there's a restroom in this room as well. Um, there will be a restroom and then there's a, a utility kind of closet. Right. But again, the children won't have to leave this area. It's a single restroom, but they'll, they'll be able to use that restroom as well. Cool, cool. All right. Utility right. rooms are getting changed. Um, equipment are, are getting moved around. You will note the big difference. If you pause here, there's no dog-legged hallway. This is a nice straight run. Uh, yes, the posts are still there. Um, it's kind of funny. We haven't been in the church for a long time, so people may not remember that we had a real dog leg jut out um, in the hall, but that's being cleaned up and straightened out. So cool. that's all part of this project. No more weird dog leg. And that's right. Straight right. run. And then we head back. This is that little area that we said that this might be where they have uh, one of the check-ins for kids. Absolutely. And now I'm, I think we get a shot of the skylight. There it is. Yep. And our emergency exit. 
Yeah. Isn't that a pretty emergency exit? Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably the exit that when I was a kid, I accidentally ran out and sh and set off the fire alarm, right? So parents get ready. You don't want your kid to run out that door. All right, and now we're back upstairs again uh, to the to when you first walk into um, our new lobby. But cool. isn't that just a great open, welcoming space? Oh my goodness, it gets, it's, it makes me so excited because they, they have started, you know, tearing stuff like uh, Jordan is here and they've been starting just to rip stuff apart inside the building and like, it, it's happening. So like, yes. now that when we walk through this, when we walk through this, this time, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like, we're in the process now. This is happening. It's real. Cool, cool. All right. So we wanted to... We wanted to walk you guys through that. And now what we're going to do is Jody's just going to share with you just a little bit about kind of uh, the things we've gone through and where we're at on this project. And, we'll, and then we're going to answer a few questions for, that'll help as well for clarity. Go ahead, Jody. All right. So one of the big questions everybody wants to know, when's it going to be done, right? We just started. Everybody wants to know when it's going to be finished. So our target has always been mid-May. At the moment, it looks like we're going we're gonna to make it which will be great. But can you imagine how wonderful it will be to gather there in the spring when hopefully this COVID mess is substantially behind us and we can all begin to gather again to, you know, in large groups together. And I'm personally hoping there'll be a whole lot of hugging going on um, because we haven't been able to do that uh, during COVID. Lots of fist pounding and weird elbow bumps. I think at one point I gave someone an elbow to fist bump. Oh yeah, whatever. I've seen heels. Soles of feet, whatever. So um, really looking forward to this being a, a great place to open up. Now, um, as we said, there's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes. We've got a very diligent building committee. Um, we've been reading contracts. We've been going through budgets. We've been trying to get permits. Um, it takes a lot of people to pull this together. And, you know, I was reflecting back. Um, the other thing that I really learned as we've been going through this process is just how significant the contributions have been from previous generations yes. that contributed to the building project. We can't imagine functioning without the fellowship hall. And that was a big building project. Yeah, amen. We can't imagine not having our basic building and yet someone had the foresight to move us out of the North building into our current building. So I just hope people realize that with the, the drudgery comes a legacy that yeah. um, we're able to leave for the kingdom so that more, more people will be able to come and to continue to worship. We're followers of Jesus that help others follow Jesus. So right now, what we're doing now, years down the road, there'll be other people here following Jesus and what we were a part of. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, it's God's building. He, he knows how he wants it used. And we're just here trying to, trying to facilitate a facility uh, that will allow God's work to continue. So. The gist is on where we are um, since June. Our design has been finalized. We have a complete set of drawings that are in for permit review. Our construction contractors, you said they're on board, they're, they're demolishing. I understand the noise level gets to be a little bit much uh, already. It's only they gonna get worse. Help. They won't let me help. I'm sorry. Um, the land development plan has not yet been formally, formally approved, but we're waiting for one last document and the township has signed off otherwise and then it needs to be recorded. However they do that, I really don't know that part. The permits, they were actually, the township was willing to look at our permits uh, while they were looking at the uh, land development plan and finalizing that, which does not always take place. The other really exciting thing, in June when we talked to everybody, we were really concerned about the water uh, we needed more water coming into the building, and we were looking at several alternatives, all of which were going to cost uh, significantly more than we had in, in um, mind. Well, God stepped in. We are now have a, a, a plan to bring the additional water flow into the building, and it's within the budget we had originally planned. Um, we are so excited about that. Um, it will cause some disruption on Main Street, but it will be short-lived. Uh, and we will have the amount of water we need coming in to service the sprinklers, the everything. Uh, really neat. Uh, on a previous pastor's chat, Pastor Dave asked that everybody pray that, you know, that the Lord would help us in that whole water line issue. And I think it's really neat to pause and remind us that God answers prayers. So we prayed 
and the Lord answered and we're praise the Lord that at this point it's a lower it's the lower amount so absolutely and I would ask people continue to pray for this for the project yes. um, certainly for the funding coming in and the funds going out uh, I'd also ask they pray for the safety of those that are working for us or are on the job site and, and Tim that brings up kind of the, the unfun part of this um, and we really want people to stay out of the construction area for their own safety and the safety of those that are working on the project. I know you have a uh, barrier at the uh, not too far outside of your office, um, and I know that other barriers have been set up. They're working really hard to get what has to be done um, so we can get another um, entrance into the sanctuary. And once we have two entrances, we'll be able to, to go back to using the sanctuary, but for now, uh, we can't. It's truly a safety, egress, fire concern, and, and we we don't want anyone to get hurt Yeah. in any way during this process. Yeah, there's barriers, so don't go through them. Yeah. So. All right, so did you have some specific questions for me? Yeah, we answered a lot of them inside of our time as we walk through, um, but uh, there's a there's some there was a questions is anything changing about the parking lot at this point once again I think I can handle this but we can answer this together that um, as we handle this project as the monies came in right now um, we're re only able to complete the the lobby and we're praying with the contingency the bottom half but the, no the parking lot's not getting done but once again you know the Lord provides the funds and we have it we do want that parking lot we would love to see a brand new parking lot out there. Um, so that's, I don't know if you have anything to add to that. No, just realize that, um, so, oh, there was one small addition in work. Um, we have expanded, so you, you said the upstairs is all on target to be finished, and it is. The lower level, the existing classrooms are on target to put back, be put back into commission. We actually added some funds out of our contingency to do additional waterproofing. After the tropical storm, I understand you guys were sloshing around back there. <laughs> and so um, additional funds were added to the project, um, 15,000, it wasn't a ton of money, but to make sure we really solved that water problem so that the existing classrooms would be solved as well. Those will be put back into use. And then the question is how far can we get on that brand new classroom? That's gonna be the, the um, the nail biter when it comes to funds. Right. And um, as you said, the parking lot's not gonna get done. Uh, the other question is, will the bathrooms or office be updated in the youth building? That's so the youth building, meaning the North building. The North building. So right building. now, the plan is to use our own talent um, and funds out of this, not within this project, to replace the bathrooms in the youth building. I don't know how much of the office will get done, but the bathrooms has been a big issue and that is something that um, we're going to take on. Certainly, um, if you are interested or able to help, please contact Fred Papernick. He's, he's gonna lead that effort. I'm sure Rich Hughes will be jumping in right there to help him, but we really need uh, people to come in and help. And, and I will say to the youth, having gone on, on missions projects where construction was our primary goal, um, you too can learn how to put up sheetrock and learn how to do all the spackling. Great life skills. Um, and we've got a lot of people, that, adults, who would love to help you do that. If you've never had a chance to, to swing a hammer or run a saw, um, they'll help you. So um, this is a great opportunity for our youth to help the future youth that are coming on. Yeah, so right now we're, we didn't start on those. There's still the no. older bathrooms that we have over there. Um, I was laughing that the, the women's Bible study met in the North building and um, Pat, uh, Pat Moreau put a note on the building that said, uh, it was like, word of advice, use the bathrooms in the main building and before you come over and there was a smiley face. So I think we're all excited for the opportunity to make that North building a place that both the youth and our whole church can use it when, uh, when able and that it's up to date uh, when it comes to its facilities. Um, did, did COVID change anything? Yeah, actually it did. Um, and, and some of it's great and some of it's not so great. So let's do the not so great. Um, as we all know, home renovation projects have just skyrocketed uh, supply and demand, um, and therefore some, some material prices went up. Um, although what I've been reading is they're kind of leveling off and maybe even going down a little bit. So we're hoping that that, that doesn't hit us too hard. Hmm. Um, but where it really actually helped us, and by the way, we have met as a committee 
with our architects, with our construction, with our everybody, um, we've been using Zoom or you know, go to meeting, or we've been using all these technologies. But our church is really now ready to meet using technology, and we don't have the sanctuary available. And that was one of our big concerns. How were we going to meet when the sanctuary was blocked off? Well, we know how to do that now. So very excited about um, how that's actually going to work out, and it's just not as big an issue as it was, um, as intimidating an issue as it was pre-COVID. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a blessing and a uh, curse. Yeah, but it's also amazing that through COVID, though, we still, because of Zoom, you guys got it all done. And here we are. And the building has started to be in demo mode. So praise the Lord. Absolutely. Uh, the last question I have on here um, is, are we on budget? So far, we are on budget. So far, so good. Um, as you alluded to, we have a list of other things that we would like to complete within this project or, or a very quick follow on. Uh, those would be obviously room six or the new classroom. Um, the other is we would love to get that parking lot uh, cleaned up. There are plans for some renovations down near the offices that could take place and the entire north building. There's the architects developed a gorgeous plan. Um, on how we could actually even add some additional space there over the existing small roof, the short part of the building, um, and some beautiful things that could be done that would kind of combination restore that building but make it very purposeful for our youth. So there's an endless list of yeah, things that can be done and accomplished. Um, so I think the only thing limiting us really is us. I don't think God's limiting us at all. So I think that there's a lot to... Um, a lot that we can do. Uh, I do want to point out the Fairmount building still is available for meeting space and yeah. for the counselors. There's a little cleanup, I understand, after yeah. the um, renovation of the, the, for the preschool, um, but it can still be used. By the way, our preschool is full. Did you know that? That they had to open another session. There were so many families in need that we were reaching out in the ministry using that building like we never thought it would be used. Yeah, praise the Lord. It, it's a God thing. And I, I wanted to mention, we said that we're on budget, yes, um, but I wanted to excite us all as a body uh, here at Calvary that, you know, like you said, you know, if, if you get excited about what's going on here, you want to see amazing things happen, you want that parking lot done, we want the North Building to be renovated, um, this whole envision of renovating our facilities to create campus environments that people don't want to leave and can't wait to get back to, let's get excited about. And if you're giving now, keep giving. Don't forget to be giving to your capital campaign, but or to other people. If this is exciting to you, ask us how to get involved. Um, I, this I get so excited for what's happening here, and I hope you all are as well. We hope that this ex, this vi, the video to help you see what's going on, to get excited. We hope that it just brings energy to what's happening here at Calvary. Um, so with that one last time, that vision, let's, let's hear it, Jody. If you got, I, I have it in front of me or whoever. Um, we could almost try to do it together, but that may be too complicated. So here it is. Renovate our facilities to create can't miss environments that people do not want to leave and they can't wait to get back to. So pray as a congregation, let's pray through this project. Let's see what God can do. Um, and remember we said he is not limited. Uh, so let's just get behind and let's put our faith in the Lord um, and get excited. And let's be followers of Jesus that help other people follow Jesus here at Calvary. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Jody, thanks for being on uh, this with us this uh, today or uh, whenever anybody's watching this. And I can't wait to see what uh, God does with this incredible facility. Well, thanks so much for letting us uh, share what's going on with the building committee. And we are so excited and can't wait to see the results. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Jim. All right.